Hi, it's Corrine for Wild Orchid Crafts, and today I'm sharing a flip through of a chunky album that I've just completed. This is a wedding album, and this was a custom ordered album. I've used lots of gorgeous Wild Orchid Craft products, so I'll be sure to link those down in the description box, as well as over on my blog. And I will also link you to Wild Orchid Crafts. I hope you stop by and check out all their amazing products. It, they really lent some beautiful um, touches to this album. So I'll go through this album and show you the color scheme of the wedding was black, white, and red. So I made sure to stick to that color scheme. And I used some gorgeous papers that I had in my stash. It's from a couple different companies um, that went well together. So uh, I can't, it's not one specific paper pack, but this album turned out so beautiful. On the cover, my plans were to use a big label like this and add some flowers. And as soon as I put the label on there to see if I was happy with the size, I thought it looked gorgeous. I left it just as it is. I didn't want to um, add anything else to it. I thought it was beautiful. And on the spine, I used this beautiful trim that I got from Hobby Lobby. And this has 12 pages in it. Again, it's a chunky album. I used some red, red satin ribbon for the closure. I gave myself a 3 8 inch gusset on this album and every single page has a beautiful pull out large bracket edged um, mat for more photos or journaling. I designed this myself in the cameo. I won't pull all of them out but every single page has that and I love the look that it lends to it. Um, that's why I let it peek out just slightly. So on this side this is a silhouette cut that I got from the online silhouette store and it comes with some pink flowers on it. I went ahead and covered it up with the red and white, being that that's the color scheme. And I made this into an accordion flip out. I added some white satin ribbon. So when they open this up, they can add some three by three photos, lots more photos in this on both sides. On this side, again, I used a cameo cut that I had in my stash. I added this gorgeous paper to the center of it, added a matte layer of the red, and this little die cut, it says you and me. This is from the Simple Stories Wedding Snap collection, I believe. I added some gorgeous chrysanthemums in red and the off-white. I also added some open roses in both the red and white. And then I have some tiny ones in here and a couple of the red rosebuds, hip rosebuds from Wild Orchid Crafts, along with some of the white leaves. So again, they'll just be able to add a photo right to the center of that. On this side, I left a large photo mat. This is, this will hold a four by six photo and leave a, a slight black border. Added some of these gorgeous chrysanthemums again, and some of the leaves. On this side, I did a side belly band using some black and red paper. I also used some black trim and then this flat back pearl trim from Wild Orchid Crafts along with some Sweetheart Blossoms. They can slide their pictures right in this. And this has a beautiful chandelier paper here. And I used several journal cards that I either designed myself or I used them from the Simple Stories Wedding Snap collection. And I did mat them all on either black or black and red. Again, just keeping within the color scheme. On this side here, I did a bracket waterfall flip up. I did score it so they can bend it up and add photos underneath it. And then I tied it off with some white satin ribbon, added a banner with their name. I did get permission that I could show this. On this side, I designed a bracket style pocket and added the happy, happily ever after, some of the self-adhesive flat back pearls from All Darker Crafts and this beautiful flourish to the bottom. Look how pretty that paper is. Here are the two journaling cards for this one. These are perfect to add. Either you can use a white gel pen, a silver pen, a jelly roll style pen, and then photos to the back. On this side, I used some of the organza white small trimming from Wild Orchid Crafts. I added a red uh, matting back here and some Sweetheart Blossoms. I use this gorgeous pearlized paper. This is from the Paper Studio from Hobby Lobby. 
another journal card perfect for photos on the back photos can be put in this pocket as well on this side I made another accordion flip out so this album will hold a lot of photos I tied it off with some red satin ribbon and used one of the journaling cards the 4x6 journaling cards from simple stories it says and they lived happily ever after and then again more photos can be placed inside on both the front and back on this side here I just have a photo mat again using the red and black this will hold a 4x6 photo here I used more of that gorgeous pearlized paper added some of the black trim and some flat back pearl trim along with a chrysanthemum in the red and use some beautiful black and white striped paper. Here's a large journaling mat. Photos can be placed in the pocket here as well. On this side, I added this gorgeous flat back trim, the Mr. and Mrs. and the wedding date there. Here are the journaling cards. It says a true love story never ends. And I love this here. On this side, this is perfect for a 3x3 photo. I did not want to add anything to it. I absolutely love this paper, so I thought it, it'll look perfect with a photo on it. On this side, I designed a side bracket style pocket. And here are the journaling cards. Perfect to add a little note, photos on the back. Another pocket using that pearlized paper with the stripes. This is probably my favorite out of it. Some of this gorgeous trim and the flat back pearl trim. A beautiful damask paper in the back. On this side, I did a scalloped heart, added some chrysanthemums and one of the flat back heart embellishments and a flat back pearl. And they can add photos right behind this heart. It'll hold it. Here's another journaling card. On this side, I did a diagonal pocket and I used the Nouveau Crystal Drops for the edging along the pocket. Some gorgeous paper in the back. And then here's a journaling card. It says Our Wedding. This was also from Simple Stories and I changed it to add my own red flowers to it and red banner because I believe it was pink if I'm not mistaken so I added the red to go along with the color scheme another large photo mat this will hold I believe a five by five I have a pretty flory flower and then on top of that a chrysanthemum with one of the pearl embellishments from Wild Orchid Crafts I have some leaves and then I have one of their vintage keys along with two little wedding rings tucked in there And that gorgeous paper behind it. On this side, I used a Martha Stewart punch, um, scalloped lace punch, added some red sweetheart blossoms, some more journaling cards. I added their name to the center of that. On this side, another pocket with some gorgeous lace from Wild Orchid Crafts and then some flat back trim their last name, a couple of chrysanthemum flowers with this heart. It's a bubble heart, flat back embellishment, and a pearl. And I added this little charm that says love. Here's the journaling card. On this side, I use this round ornate frame it's left open at the top so they can slide a photo in and I do have a template that they can trace so they can get the perfect um, size photo for this and I added some pearls here and there I added some chrysanthemums with some red cherry blossoms in the center and these little tiny rosebuds from Wild Orchid Crafts in red really pretty on this side I have a large photo frame this is a pocket so they can add several photos and here's a little journaling card that I stuck in the pocket again they can add some names or dates whatever they'd like here I added another of the pretty flory flowers and on top of that I added a white gardenia flower another one over here and then a few sweetheart blossoms a couple of hip rosebuds and then I added a little white cabochon flower here 
to give it a little texture and then a flat back white ivory heart. On this side, this will hold a three by three photo. And I added some of the resin pieces from Wild Arc Crafts. They're the mixed corner pieces. Gorgeous paper. On this side, I used an oval ornate frame, added some gardenias and some chrysanthemums along with some of the pearls and added that beautiful Mr. and Mrs. background. I added a side bracket style pocket with their name, some red pearls to the top here, and then another journaling card. And on the last page here, I added a resin frame from Wild Arcade Crafts. And to it, I added this beautiful sentiment that I got from the online silhouette store. It says, here's to love, laughter, and happily ever after. Added some pearls here to the frame. And then this beautiful flower trim. I put that right over this um, scalloped edge Martha Stewart punch. Gorgeous papers. And then here's the journaling card. It's got a little... And then here's the templates. I just tucked them in the pocket. These are for the two photo frames. Again, they can just lay these directly over their photos, trace them, and be able to get a perfect size that they need to add their photos to those frames. And lastly, on the very back page, I added a large photo mat, backed it, or edged it, I should say, with these flat back pearls, added a gardenia flower, and some open roses, and some white leaves from Wild Arcade Crafts. So I hope you've enjoyed this flip through. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and please stop by Wild Orchid Crafts for all their amazing products. Thanks so much for watching.